Out here on the road by this park is a covered bridge and so I'm hoping to get right down there and uh, take a few pictures of the covered bridge as the sun rises. I think that this is an excellent lens. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and professionally I'm a software developer but in my free time I love landscape photography and making related videos here on YouTube. Landscape photography is exactly what I'm doing today. I am out here at a park really early in the morning. It's uh, 6.05 in the morning. The sun is just about to rise and so I'm filming this intro in the car because it's just really quiet this morning and I feel like I might be disturbing somebody nearby if uh, if I were talking outside. There's a few houses around here. I don't know, maybe everybody's asleep and wouldn't notice me, but it just feels like a really quiet, still morning that I just don't want to disturb. Um, but out here on the road by this park is a covered bridge and this park has access to the water that the bridge is over and so I'm hoping to get right down there really quick here it's not very far it's like really really close and uh, take a few pictures of the covered bridge as the sun rises uh, should be behind the bridge coming up and so I think that's gonna be really nice here this morning Now it's really just incredibly uh, calm and quiet and peaceful out here this morning, and uh, <laughs> except for some of the some of the traffic going by, uh, but it's very peaceful. And I hope that I can convey some of that to you guys in these videos, uh, convey some of the the peace and tranquility to you, and hopefully it calms you a little bit as well. Um, but I really encourage you to try out some early morning and late evening landscape photography. Um, or just hiking uh, to, to get that really peaceful experience. I'll be honest, I do not really like getting up early in the morning. I'm not an early riser. Um, I had to wake up at about five o'clock this morning, um, but you know, I tried to make it as easy on myself as I could. So I already had everything packed up last night because I knew that when I woke up this morning, I wasn't really gonna want to do that. It was gonna take me longer to do it. Um, and I, and I also knew I wasn't really going to budget myself enough time waking up this morning. Um, but, you know, I, I got up and I got out here right around sunrise. Almost could have actually gotten here a little bit earlier. Um, and that might be something that I try in the future as well, is, is getting here a little bit earlier. Um, but just getting out before everybody else is really nice. And the, the world just looks so beautiful early on in the morning. Um, I saw a little bit of fog over the water that I don't normally see. The light is different. Um, the sky is different, the colors in it. And so just really uh, encourage you if you haven't yet to try to really make that, that hard step in landscape photography of actually getting out really early in the morning. Um, you know, it's really easy to go out midday and take a lot of photos, but the photos that you're gonna get then are not going to be what they could be if you got out really early in the morning. Um, overcome that hurdle of getting up earlier and uh, get out there and, and give that a shot. I think you'll be really surprised and really happy with the way that that looks in your photos. So I feel like there's a little bit of dilemma with the vantage point to get pictures of this bridge here. Um, on the one hand, I can sit here where I am and 
I can basically see sort of half the bridge poking out through the trees, which is kind of a cool look. Um, the sun is rising behind it. The sky is pretty bright. Um, it's now actually looking a little bit washed out right now. Hopefully that gets a little bit better. Um, but, you know, I think I can do a few tricks with exposure and stuff to make it uh, work out. On the other hand, I could cross over the bridge and try to get a view of it from the other side. It's just along the road there, so I think that that would be okay to do. Um, however, um, you know, then I then I have to to walk over there and potentially run the risk of missing out on something here, right? If I if I walk all the way around and uh, then decide that this was the better spot. You know, now the, the light is it's fading while I'm doing that. Um, so I probably should have scoped out this location a little bit more in advance. I think what I might do is shoot some pictures here, uh, since I am here and I have this now. And then um, if I decide that it would look better from the other side, you know, maybe I'll try that on a future day unless I have the time for it today. Um, this, this was literally just the spot that I found on the map yesterday and decided to come to. And so it's, you know, it's the first time here I'm here for, for photos, which is maybe not ideal. Um, but I, I think I'll get out the camera, set everything up. There's some nice mist on the water I'm seeing right now. I, I think I like this. I'm just not sure about the particular angle on the bridge. Okay, so I have my camera set up now, um, you know, got the shot lined up more or less pointed at the bridge. Here's the dilemma now, <laughs> is that uh, in order to expose so that I get good color in the sky, which is really bright in the sunrise light, I lose all of the detail in the trees. And so what I'm probably going to do is bracket all of these shots so that I get that good color in the trees and maintain the color in the sky and then hopefully later in my post-processing I can put all of that together. So to turn on the auto bracketing you're just going to hit the uh, little I menu and um, add it under there. Now I don't remember if auto bracketing is a default option under the I menu or not. You might need to add it in the settings. I have a video about um, how to set up the contents of that uh, menu among other things and so I'll, I'll leave a link to that it'll be uh, up uh, up there in the in the top right corner <laughs> um, but just go down in here and you can set the number of shots that you want to take um, so there's different increments in here you got zero which is bracketing off three and five um, and then you can go up even more than that to seven and nine so I set that at five uh, that was sufficient for me and then I set the increment at one stop of exposure um, and so with that I'm now when I press the shutter I'm gonna put it into the burst mode which is a burst button down at the bottom put it into the high burst mode and then it'll take five shots as I hold the shutter down at different exposures Here it's just a matter of figuring out what makes a good composition of this. I'm thinking that I'm going to put the horizon line right in the center of the frame. I don't tend to put the horizon in the center usually, but I really like in this scene the symmetry that I have between um, the sky above and the reflection of the sky in the water. And if I put the horizon line at the center, I think it emphasizes that. So let me show you what I have. 
All right, so here is the scene in front of me. Um, so you can see we've got the covered bridge here to the right, uh, some really nice trees, some really nice sunlight um, coming through there, and so that's really pretty. So on the camera here then, this is roughly the scene that I've got set up there, and it's pretty hard to see, especially since it's not been edited at all yet. Uh, but what I've set up is the horizon line just right at the center, and so putting the uh, the reflection of the sky um, and the the actual sky itself um, kind of roughly equal in the frame. Now, uh, seeing this on, on the video here, I'm debating about zooming in the camera and adjusting the angle a little bit because I've liked some of these angles I've seen handheld, um, but I've just been trying to get the camera settings right right now. Um, so I'm going to move the camera a little bit here, try to get a little better composition, see if I can not improve that a little bit. Um, but I'm really liking the light and the scene so far. And it's a bit later now, um, I'm kind of filming this at the end of everything, but let me just tell you about the camera settings that I use today as well. Um, so I used the pin autofocus mode uh, just to let me get a real detailed pinpoint on the bridge of where my focus was um, but for the aperture I kept it real tight it's at f13 now uh, earlier I actually had it up at 16 um, and the goal for that just being that I wanted to keep everything around the edges of the frame um, relatively in focus as well um, and then I set the shutter speed more kind of dependent on the light um, so now that it's a little brighter, it's at uh, 50 earlier. I think I started out with it at around 20 um, and then just kind of gradually increased it as needed. I am glad though that I continued to photograph at this spot there may be better compositions somewhere else around here um, but there are compositions here for sure I, I think I like these that's a really pretty shot I'm getting really nice sunlight coming in now uh, the sun has poked through a gap in the the trees as it's come over the horizon and so I'm getting a really nice flare uh, in the lens that I think is really pleasing it's just a nice sun rays sort of look. It's not a crazy flaring, um, but just a nice little sun ray there, uh, so you can tell where the sun's at. So I'm trying a different approach now. You can see I've switched angles here, and that's uh, making the bridge actually a side character in the sun coming through the trees over here, because at this particular moment, that feels to me sitting here like the, the main story here. It's the sun coming up through the trees. It's so natural looking, so peaceful, so golden. Um, and the, the bridge looks nice, but it's kind of there. It's a little bluer, um, you know, and it's it's unnatural, I guess. Um, so I'm actually kind of making it a sign character in, in what's going on over here with the sun, which is really making the main show all on its own. Okay, the sun has moved back behind a little bit of a tree again, um, making it less dazzling over here. So I think I'm going to turn my attention back to that bridge, continue working on trying to get some good shots of that in this morning light. Just going to try some different things. So I wonder about maybe moving my composition a bit so that there's more foreground. I feel like I'm losing a little bit of the cloud that I had in the sky. <laughs> Might be moving off. Alright, so here is the camera setup right now. And uh, this is why it's just so important to have a tripod that um, 
really come work with you for these types of shots uh, because in order to get the HDR merge that I'm gonna need to get of this scene um, because you can see you know here's kind of exposed in the uh, video for the trees here and then there's the sky over there um, and so there's just a lot of difference there and so in order to be able to stitch that together later, get the right exposure of everything, get the HDR merge that I want to get. Um, I really need everything to be still in my in my shot here. And so uh, just to, to be able to make that happen, I have put the camera on the tripod and expanded the legs out, expanded the tripod arm out. And so it's now just set up like this. Um, so that I could get this really low angle as well because I really liked the way that it looked down here. I tried to use some of the grasses over here along uh, the edge of the water and um, just kind of incorporate those into the frame as well. Now what I'm really noticing in the sky right now is that the cloud that was lower down earlier has moved upward a lot and so the lower portion of the sky uh, right in here, uh, which is really the main part that's going to be in my photograph, is really gotten very flat blue as the sun has come up a little bit more. Um, the best light was really early on when the sun was really low down, and I think that as long as I got the composition right early on, uh, those are probably going to be my favorite photos from this. Uh, now this was a really nice spot to come to, it was really accessible, I didn't have to hike far or anything to get here. And so I think that this is a spot that I will probably come back to a lot more. just wanted to show you as well this area over here is the area that I was considering going over to um, to try to take photos from the other side and so um, I, I really think while that might be a really good spot and I probably will check it out after this um, I, I really think if I had gone over there um, I might have gotten a better angle of the bridge, but it really definitely would have missed some of the light through the trees over here, which even now looks really pretty. Um, and it, it looked really beautiful earlier, and I got some nice photos of that. And so, you know, um, I think this, <laughs> this spot turned out okay. Um, I, I will see what it looks like over there, and maybe at some point in the future I'll try photos from that angle as well. Um, but I think this worked out pretty okay here. Okay, so I came out here at about 6 o'clock this morning uh, when the sun was just coming up. So it is now about 7 o'clock. I've been here for one hour. Um, and if you can tell with the light behind me here, uh, the sun is pretty well up. It's just about to come over some of the little bit more distant trees. Um, and I think that the show is kind of over. Um, the light has changed a lot and um, it's looking just a lot more washed out. It's just not really what it was when I got here. Now I may still try to take a few photos here um, and see what I can do with it for a few more minutes but probably the photos that I'm gonna like the best in terms of the light are gonna be the ones that I took really early on. Anything at this point is just not gonna compare to that with the way that the light is now versus the way that the light is then. Um, and so that shows you when you're getting out for early morning landscape photography, just how small of a window you really have. You've gotta make sure that you have everything ready to go and you get out here um, at the time that you meant to and um, you know give yourself extra time because there's been so many times um, even on this channel there's been so many times when I've said okay I'm gonna get there right at sunrise and I've gotten there 
half an hour, an hour after, and the light then just is not what it is uh, really early on. I think that in the future, I might try the spot from some different angles, and I might try it at blue hour, um, maybe sunset, not sure what that might look like. The sun would set from the opposite direction behind the bridge, um, or in front of the bridge, I guess, and would shine on it. Um, and so that could be interesting as well. Um, so I think this is probably a spot that I will be back to um, for some more photos in the future because I, I really like the way that it looked this morning. Hopefully I was able to uh, actually capture that and get some good shots of it. Anyway though, I feel like I've done a lot of talking in this video. Uh, there, there wasn't a long hike today, so there's been a lot less nature footage and a lot more of me talking today. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking now and uh, let the rest of you get on with your lives. Um, so that is going to be all for this video. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss more videos that I'm really excited to share with you in the future. As always, Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.